Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's press conference. We will start the press conference with an opening statement from head coach Tyler Hildebrand. Then we'll um, open it up to questions from the media for coach, as well as student athletes, Natalie Glenn, Zaina Meyer, and Morgan Chacon. Thank you, Lindy. Well, I sat down and all of them are looking at all the things that they didn't like on the stat sheet here, but you know, we don't really, we don't really pay attention too much to all the stats. Um, it's going to be a broken record, but you know, our, our story of our season is going to be a bunch of women coming together and, and, um, you know, it's a challenge to have new coaches and new players and find a way to come together. And for whatever reason, you know, these, these women are doing that uh, at a level that's, that's, you know, you look at our staff and the, 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 the places, the teams we've been on and the levels we've played at, we've been on so many different, just a, just a total diverse, a beach, indoor, women's, men's, and uh, all of us are incredibly impressed with how close they are, how much they play for each other, how they don't get rattled. And, and we give ourselves a chance to get rattled sometimes. We get up by five and then we get five back and they don't get rattled, you know, and then we come and we're trusting our system at the end of sets, which is uh, also very rare. And um, so, you know, my goal, I think, is trying to get them not to worry about what's on this sheet right here, here, or there. Um, but uh, Notre Dame, you know, had to deal with some adversity tonight. Um, you know, their setter going down last night, that changes their team a little bit. And um, so, you know, we weren't prepared for that setter to hit um, for a little bit, and then we got on it. So another thing we work on is being adaptable, being able to adjust and our girls do that really well. You don't see panic. People don't get locked up when we're making changes. So, um, but you know, Salim is a first, you know, Salim is a great friend of mine. They have a great staff, and it was just a, a joy to have both Boise State and Notre Dame this week. But uh, really fun to have Notre Dame there, and I hope we get to play them some more because they're 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 going to be good. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but Salim had jumped in and played short court with us before the game, and so. You know, we want to have joy in our gym, and you know I think Salima brings joy to their gym and that staff. And so, yeah, proud of the match that we played against them, and and happy that they were here to play us. And so, kudos to them, and uh, we'll take two wins this week. Good evening, Coach. Tonight, your team never trailed at once in the match. What can you say about? that your team and how it was able to basically just stay ahead of Notre Dame being a scrappy team from a power five conference. Well, we have a saying that perfect is the enemy of good. And um, it doesn't matter what team I've ever been with as a player or coach, that's the hardest thing to get over because we want to be perfect. That's what drives us. So I didn't know that, that we didn't uh, trail, but I mean, we, we all know that we can execute a little better in volleyball in, in all areas of the game, but um, I think it's a good sign that we want to get better when we didn't trail against a good Notre Dame team, you know, all match, so. Um, hi guys, Zaina. Uh, I think uh, Tyler's used the word joy about, I don't know, 10 or 15 times in the, in the pressers the last two days, obviously a big theme for you guys. And that's what it looks like, you know, when I'm watching you guys play, you can just see the energy. You can see how much you guys sort of get along and are playing for each other. Can you just describe what that's like on the court? You know, the feeling that you guys are, are having to the start of the season. Yeah. Um, it's actually been a big change for me, like playing with that joy because, um, I, I mean, I we talked about this a lot, but struggling with like trying not to be like perfect and just like being like okay with like being like you know just pretty good. Um, and a big thing here is just playing free and playing for each other. And I feel like I felt that a lot the past few games. I just love my teammates a lot, and being on that court and just playing for each other and playing free is like the most fun thing that I could like think of. So, yeah. Morgan, you have any say on that? Um, I agree been on a couple teams, a couple college teams, and I've uh, never, I think this is the best experience I have of truly just playing for my teammates. And um, I think we, I think we've talked about this before. Like it almost seems like sometimes we don't want to like let each other down because we care so much about each other and playing for each other, which I guess that's a good problem to have, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Very special. Come on Nat, you're up. Um, I would just say, we are very close off the court, which I think transfers onto the court in a very good way. 
And like Zaina and Morgan both said, playing for each other is something I haven't really experienced on a team before. So this is all new, but it is very fun. And I am very, I am experiencing joy while I'm on the court. Nice. <laughs> uh, so you guys gave you all little points on how much joy you guys have been having coming from different schools and kind of having this union that you guys kind of feel like uh, that you guys didn't really get in the past. Uh, what are those sort of specific things that that Long Beach State has that a lot of those schools that you guys were at previous that you know you didn't get you didn't get that makes this team so different? Trickles down from the coaching staff 100%. Like, I haven't had coaches that want me to, like, play free and, like, just love the game in the way that they have here, which is pretty incredible. Like, um, when I first got here, Tyler, a quote that he wanted me to, like, think about was playing for her, which is, like, playing for my younger self who, like, was a person who fell in love with the game. And I, that's always kind of in my back in the back of my mind now and just um, playing for my the person who fell in love with the game and enjoying it instead of just – getting really mad after every game. <laughs> I was going to say the exactly the same thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I would say, the, I was about to say the exact same thing. Just, it starts from the top and like the standard they set, the, uh, how much they care and like the example that they set for all of the girls to follow. I think it's, um, at every level. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the coaching staff is great. Um, <laughs> Um, I just think being able to play without having to try to reach this perfection of a standard is really allowing us to free up and kind of get back to our games and not worry about, well, like, oh, I shanked this ball, blah, blah, blah. We just go back to what we've learned and what the pros do. And this is another question for the players. Playing in – the pyramid for the first time this week in an actual game. Like, what's that feeling like playing in front of your fans? And what's it going to be like playing on the road in another hostile environment in Nebraska? Morgan's the only one that's played there. Um, I think playing in the pyramid was to, for the beginning part of the question, was awesome. I think being in a gym uh, where I feel like the fans are like true lovers of volleyball and like really appreciate the sport. Uh, that was really cool, a uh, really cool first experience. And then playing in Nebraska, I play there in the NCAA tournament. And to be honest, uh, they're loud, but you know, they also love volleyball. And I never felt like they were necessarily like hostile to the other team, although it is like very loud and they are you know, they really do support their their team. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a lot of noise, and it's fun to just, like, embrace such a cool volleyball environment and um, just see, like, how much support volleyball is getting there. I think just embracing the environment is, like, going to be the most important part. Good. Killer answer. Great job. Um, Tyler, you, uh, you know, when we talked before the season, you had a, a, a lengthy list of goals you guys are a couple weeks into starting the season. Um, it's nice to be four and one. You know, you, you guys obviously are off to a nice start on the court, but uh, you see the crowd is starting to come back and everything too. You feel good about you know where you guys are on the first couple steps of uh, of, of the journey, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think that <clears throat> it's all kind of the same story. I mean, we're just trying to figure out. You know, we I think we train really hard and we train really well. Uh, Morgan was just saying after the match, like our B side brings up the level in the in the in practice every day so I keep encouraging people to come to practice we have an open practice so if anybody wants to come because that's really kind of where we're getting all the work done on the volleyball side I think I think we train you know we, we train good volleyball the girls do a great job um, so all those a lot of those goals Mike were you know getting fans back in here getting our alumni involved we've had three alumni that are national champion players a year in the last week and a half come talk to our team and that's that's something really important to us because these, our women deserve to know the the women that played here that did great things that have done great things in life and so, you know that's another goal. So so we're, you know we're making progress and all that. Um, I'd like another thousand or fifteen hundred in the in the in the stands, but we're very appreciative of who's who's coming back because it hasn't been like this for a little while and 
our marketing department is crushing it. They're working their, their, their tail off to, to help these girls. We had a fan experience today. It was incredible. There's like 40 kids and parents that got to come through and see. And, um, and, you know, we actually used that quote with them. So it's a Mia Hamm quote. And it's like, behind all the sweat, tears, and blood you shed, and all the coaches that pushed you and all that, you know, uh, is the girl who fell in love with the game and played for her. And so I actually said that quote to those kids because – so they help, they help remind us of that. So we had all these girls, these younger kids come in, and we got to play for them tonight. And they got to remind us that it's about having love, you know, for your teammates in the, in the, in the game. But – yeah, I mean, I, I'm just happy every day working with the girls. I, I keep saying that, but, you know, it's a joy for our – we got a great staff. We have a lot of fun. You know, we're not – I don't know. There's not a lot of, like – there's really no yelling, and there's not a lot of um, – you know, it's, it's a positive environment. We're having fun, and so that, that's, what I, that's what we're focused on. So, yeah, we're happy about that. And then Tyler, obviously you're enjoying the win. You're enjoying the two and zero week, and you're enjoying being four and one. But next week you're heading back to the old stomping grounds in Nebraska. What's it going to take to take down the Huskers? And what's that feeling going to be like returning to Lincoln, Nebraska? Well, Morgan's only you played one match there. Yeah, I mean, that was a great answer for only playing one match. I mean, she hit it on the head. There, you know, Hawaii has fans like that. Um, I think we have fans like that. Nebraska is a very respectful crowd. Um, <clears throat> and it's really fun to play there. It's, it's probably a little more fun being a Husker, you know, playing there. <laughs> 8,500 are cheering you on. But other teams, as Morgan said, can get momentum in that gym because it isn't hostile. It's just loud. And, and they appreciate good volleyball. So I think that environment, we want we want to – we want that crowd and that that stage to bring the best out of us. And as I say, pretty much every week, I mean, we're underdogs. We got all these girls coming from everywhere. Uh, we, we haven't been as successful as we wanted to be at this program, the girls that have been here. And so it's certainly we know we're gonna be underdogs next week. And you know, we played a pretty good match against Oregon, which was a which was a clear underdog situation. And if we play like that, you know, I think we're gonna have a chance to to play some volleyball with them. But the whole reason with scheduling that <clears throat> was that, you know, we want to, we want, you know, it was similar to when I was here as a freshman and, you know, this place was sold out every single women's match. And so we want to bring that back. I think when we play Hawaii, you know, there's probably gonna be eight, nine, 10,000 there that match. So we wanted a dress rehearsal playing in front of a, a lot of away fans. Um, and I wanted, I wanted our, our girls to, to see what it's like um, at the top. You know, and, and, and this is where we're trying to go. We're trying to build something like that again. And so they get a taste of it. And, you know, we're going to have nothing to lose there. We're going to go in and ready to play our game and give them a good shot. I think it'll be really special for me and Cali because they, they take care of people that have been there. There'll probably be about a three-minute standing ovation when they announce Cali's name. And and that's pretty cool. That's how much they care about the people. That, and, you know, I'll probably get one too. And so um, – but, you know, we just wanted to be tested in front of a big crowd and get to see what it's like. And um, that way we're prepped to try to win our conference. <clears throat> Thank you.